What's up guys? So today is the last video of my breast implant journey. I'll be showing you what my breasts look like after surgery, how I felt during the recovery process, and how I feel about my new boobs now. Initially, I had very small 32 AAs and had asked my doctor during consultation if he could get me to at least a B cup or maybe like a C. But because I have a very petite Asian frame, he said it would be very difficult for me to achieve a C cup on the first go and that it would probably require a second operation in the following months. But he told me he would still try his best and do what he can. Now, I didn't film myself on the day of the surgery because I was under anesthesia and I couldn't really move much. The pain was pretty bad too. And you know, the surgery itself took two hours and afterwards I was in the recovery room for five hours where I just slept. And by the time I woke up, I remember just feeling super drowsy and I was just struggling so hard to keep my eyes open. But luckily, I had a friend around town who drove me back to my Airbnb where I just knocked out completely. By the next morning, the pain was really bad. I'm feeling a lot more pain compared to the first day. Anytime I push something like the door, the elevator button, um, even a toilet flush button, it hurts. That's why I just stayed at home and ordered food delivery because it was just too painful to go outside and do the everyday things that most people normally do. So yeah, pain was the first problem that I had to face the first week. And the second problem was not getting enough sleep. After my surgery, I only had about two to four hours of sleep because it was just so uncomfortable to sleep at an elevated position. And you know, this was required for one week. All the my all my weight just sunk to my tailbone and it just made that part cramp up so bad I couldn't sleep anymore and so today I went to the shopping mall and I got myself this neck pillow and basically what I'm gonna do with this is put my butt on top of this and hopefully when I sleep on this uh, all the weight will go through this hole and not and, and then my tailbone wouldn't feel as affected. So hoping it will work. It didn't. I still woke up after two to three hours. So instead I tried something new and made myself a pillow pyramid. I basically stacked a bunch of pillows on a slope and then I rolled two bed sheets to cushion my butt. I made it so that my entire body weight wouldn't sink down to my tailbone. Actually, this one really helped a lot because I wasn't hurting my tailbone and my back wasn't cramping up. So altogether, I had seven hours of sleep. That was probably the toughest and most miserable week of my entire life. But at least I knew that things could only get better from this point on. By the end of the week, I went to see Dr. Tavacoli for my follow-up appointment. Unfortunately, he wasn't there, but the nurse came by to just check my breasts and see if there was any signs of infection or breast abnormalities, but there were none, so that was good. She also tore the stickers off my nipples, which just stung like a bit. I didn't think or had expected my nipples to be hypersensitive after the surgery, but they were. Even the fabric of my clothes would make it hurt really bad and occasionally i would get those needle pains through my right nipple just spontaneously like it would just come and go and sometimes it would hurt so bad that i would just jerk the nurse told me this was perfectly normal and that a lot of patients get this side effect after surgery and the reason for that is because the nerves in the breasts are healing and you know reconnecting so, you know, I asked her if there was a way to relieve this pain and she said the easiest and quickest way is just to really massage your breasts. I don't know how that works, but it just, it just works. By the second week, I went to see Dr. Tavacoli for my third appointment and I was a little bit sad to hear his feedback. I still think you need no bra for no the time. Bra. No, you're too tight. Move your neck for me. And touch your hands all the way up. 
Yeah, 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 so she's a bit stiff. You're not that bad, so don't like freak out, but you, okay. should, you should be better now. Like you're more of a day seven patient, not a day 15. I was a day seven patient instead of a day 15 patient. That meant I was one week behind in the recovery process and it made me really worried because the doctor said if I didn't stretch properly within the next week, my breasts would harden in the wrong place. So I told myself, look, this is your last try. You're gonna stretch for 30 minutes twice a day. If you can't do that, there goes your 12K down the drain. So I stretched and I stretched and stretched. I even made up my own stretching techniques because I had looked all over the internet and there was no one teaching breast augmentation, advanced stretches, so yeah, my role was, as long as it hurts, you're doing it right. By the time I saw Dr. Tavacoli again, he was very impressed by my sudden improvement. You got great movement for three weeks. Yeah. Keep laugh, you had no movement. Afterwards, he taught me how to desensitize my nipples. Are you tapping your nipples? Are you comfortable with uh, it? It's a little bit sensitive. So first of all, let's do this. Tap the nipple. Yeah. So that's the nipple exercise. And then he taught me how to massage my breasts. Massage and cross your hand and do this. Cup. Oh, okay. And then cup your hands and then, and then get them to kiss. Push it together. Afterwards, Dr. Tavakoli shot a live video of me on his Instagram. All right, darling, I'm gonna say one, two, three, and then you're on. They just, they just used to be like really small in the beginning. And that's why I have always dreamed about getting bigger breasts. How, how did the surgery go? It was actually really smooth. From that point, I was free to go and do the things that I couldn't do before. Except like swimming and weightlifting. Swimming I couldn't do until six weeks and then weightlifting until three months, four months down the road. But yeah, it's been four months now since the surgery and these are what my breasts look like now. Before they were really flat, like as a pancake. And now these are a big B. These are a 75B. Honestly, I kind of wish they were slightly bigger and maybe a little bit more defined on the clevis section, but I just love how perfectly round they are. I mean, this is something that my doctor specializes in, so I'm very thankful that I chose him to be my surgeon. And, you know, I just love how, you know, these breasts of mine just look more in portion with my entire body. It's, it's really nice. I think every day I catch myself checking myself out in the mirror and just looking and thinking like, wow, is that really you? Because back then I had only dreamed of getting breast implants and had never thought that I would actually do it. But now that I have gone all the way through with my decision, I have no regrets. So now that my breasts are pretty much recovered, I have a lot of catch up to do. So right now I'm working towards shedding off this extra fat off my waist, which has accumulated for about three to four months of not working out at the gym. Um, I still don't have a gym membership because it's pretty expensive here in Vietnam, but I am doing more home exercises. I even bought a yoga mat so I could start doing more yoga and Pilates and hopefully those will help me tone my entire shape. So but yeah, that's that. And then I'll also be buying new clothes that will fit my physique better. So if you like to follow me on my journey and to see how I progress, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I will see you guys in my next one.